I counted 14 new Unify products that Ubiquity has released in March 2025. And if you're having a hard time keeping up with what's been going on with Unify, then this video is for you. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bogdan Chaperni, founder of Apex One IT. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The new products released, or some of them just announced, and I'll give you my quick thoughts. In terms of Wi-Fi devices, here's what we have. First is the Device Bridge, device bridge Pro Sector. It's 200 bucks. It's made to work with the Device Bridge Pro. So this is like, as it shows here, if you want to place a camera you know, on a pole somewhere remote, you have this Device Bridge Pro beaming back to another Wi-Fi device. And with this guy though, it can point to 40 of these at once. So if we go to deployment, they're just showing three, but for example, you uh, set up one of them and you can align up to 40 additional units, which is quite a bit, you probably won't reach it. So it just has a port on here, right? Obviously exterior mounted and you have 90, de 90 degrees actually of sector coverage. It's rated for, they say five plus kilometers, it's like 3.2 miles. So it could be, could be a useful thing if you have deployments of several cameras like that, maybe covering a parking lot would be a good use case for this. Then the U7 Lite. So it comes in at $99. That's why it's light. And also it doesn't have six gigahertz band. So just four spatial streams, then 2.4 and five gigahertz. And some of you might think that, you know, Wi-Fi 7, why it doesn't have six gigahertz? Uh, you don't have to have it. There's still some additional benefits, like it will have MLO, feature with it where it can use multiple bands like 2.4 and 5 gigahertz if your device supports it and typically you'll see higher throughput as well and some other features with wi-fi 7. so this one should cover 1250 square feet 200 plus devices you know it takes like 13 watts of power something like that and in your typical traditional unify access point design here just uh, the smallest version and that's so 171 millimeters that's uh, like less than seven inches in diameter so not that large at all it does have i should know a 2.5 gig uplink then we have the u7 in wall which spec wise is uh, very similar it just has two more ports on it that can be used and that's why they advertise this for hospitality environments right hotels airbnb some people want to actually plug in their computer things like that so instead of giving them a router you give them something like this. So the access wireless access point and they can use these ports. And one of them can also be PoE out if you're powering this access point with PoE plus. Okay, so the, the back side here, right? That's why it's, it's made in wall. You install it on the wall uh, from the back. It's a 2.5 gig port and two additional ports for using in one PoE. Okay, then we have the U7 Pro XG Wi-Fi points, Wi-Fi or wireless access points. This is the one that, you know, everybody's talking about the new design, which yes, it is great. Uh, I, li I like it personally better. And some of you might want to just upgrade just for the new design, which looks pretty cool. But it's, you know, a full Wi-Fi 7 access point, meaning it has six stream. So it has six gigahertz and a 10 gig port. And you're now bumping out from 200 to 300 connected devices and 1500 of 1500 square foot of coverage and it should come in black in their announcement video they had a white and a black version shown but i don't know when the black one's coming you can subscribe of course and when that happens i'll release a new video when that comes out and then the last one here they added s xgs it's a hundred dollars more so this was 200 300 essentially it's larger so it covers you know further distance you're now looking at 1750 square feet it has um four by four mimo in the five gigahertz band and it so that's why it's eight stream it also has that spectral analysis so you can scan your wi-fi environment and you can have 200 more connected devices so the other one had 300 it has 500 and otherwise it's literally uh very similar 10 gig P oh and poe plus plus for it okay definitely uses more power and as far as i know they're really designed these to be paired with their new switches xg switches so let's take a look this is the pro xg 24 poe i mean it's very enterprisey uh, so th so this one's not actually released it's coming soon 
I'm not being clear when, but so eight 2.5 gig ports and 16 10 gig. And these are all PoE plus, 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 that's the three pluses. And, and they're keeping up with the ether lighting, so that's nice to see. Uh, so it looks like all their higher end ones, starting with the Pro Max, have ether lighting. Definitely a large switch. And yeah, it does come with rails. This one's the 24, and then they also have, I guess it's also coming soon, the 48 port switch. So kind of same thing, just kind of doubles up on everything. So again, those are very enterprisey. The one I think that I actually want to get, and I think some of you is this one. So that's the Pro XG 10 PoE, $700, uh, and should come out this month, April. And yes, I already checked Mark to get notified because I, I want to get it. So this is in that same XG line, all these ports, so 10, 10 gig ports. Let's look here, 400 watts of PoE supply, and it's also PoE++++. plus plus plus. So this is cool, especially if you're powering these new XG wireless access points, things like that. That's really what this guy's for. And it's also not gigantic, 285 millimeters. Uh, it'll fit in like your shorter, slimmer uh, network, network racks as well. Okay, then we have, so this one, I'm actually not sure when it came out. Uh, it might've been the previous month as well. They first released the G3 readers, but now we have the G3 intercom. So essentially as that Apple wallet support for touch pass or touch pass support, that, that's the additional thing. And it does cost more. So 479 now, the G2 version, yeah, 400 bucks. So you're paying $8 more, essentially what I understand for Apple wallets. If there's something else that I'm missing, I, wa I wonder if any of you guys have bought this, deployed it yet, uh, let me know. But as far as I know, it's really if you wanna use an intercom with Apple wallets. Okay, speaking of things that I missed, this G5 PTZ, I mean, I saw it in white, but I don't know if how many of you saw this yet, that it came out in black. I also don't know when that happened. It's already sold out. I missed out on it. I need to get notified. I want to, I mean, it's before you had to go to the G4 PTZ, which is very expensive, right? So now you have the black option, just looks nice. That light will still be white like that, but otherwise just a little more discreet. I do wish they still had the kind of patrol mode for this, which they don't. Okay, here's what I want to show you. This also pretty new, I'm sure, probably last month. Looks, you see, this is, they had all these, you know, different attachments already, mounting options for the PTZ for the white one. What's, what's unique here is for the in ceiling mount for the black version, as you can see in this, I guess I should play the video, is it has a smoke bubble, so you can't, Someone viewing this, looking at it, they can't tell which way the PTZ is pointing. That can be beneficial and it's you know, pretty discreet, as you can see in these images. So for 50 bucks, uh, I actually wanna try this out. And finally, by far, I think, for me, the most exciting thing, r realistically, and what we're going to be using a lot, even more than those new Wi-Fi access points, is these new G6 line of cameras. So they have three new cameras, right? G6 Bullet, Turret, and Instant, the Wi-Fi one. So the bullet and turret, they're very, very similar. Um, it's really the form factor that's different. I seriously think these are the best value right now because you get, and they're both 199, it's 200 bucks, you get 4K AI detections. And AI cameras are, are even more than just the AI detections. They do better things like with line crossings, for example. The lower level ones like G5 and the ultras, they don't do, for example, counts in different directions for line crossings. This one does. It'll give you a total in each direction, person, car, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of benefits. They also have one of their biggest right here, one over 1.8 inch, eight megapixel image sensor, which essentially just means it has good low light performance. Okay, one, one of their best ones. And 100 feet of IR night vision with the microphone. So no two way on this one, but with a microphone. And the bullet version here is really, I think designed as a replacements for existing bullet installation, like an upgrade camera where you had G5 bullet installed or may maybe some other bullet camera. But I think the best one is honestly the turrets. I mean, that's why these are sold out now. So the turret, again, it's, it's even the same view and angle. So 100 um, horizontal, 110 degrees. Previously, like with the G5 bullets, they would have a more narrow angle, which would actually be useful. Sometimes you want to deploy it, you actually don't need it that wide and you want a more narrow angle. So I actually don't like that they did that with the bullet because I wish I had that option. 
as far as now, it just comes down to choosing, right, which form factor you like. And I prefer the Chure, it's just much easier to install. So for me, we're typically installing Chures unless we're upgrading bullet cameras elsewhere because it, it's, it's all the same internals, uh, sensor, angle, you have a microphone. And then they're finally their last camera, maybe a little bit controversial, but it actually already sold out. So it's $180, their instant, their Wi-Fi camera. So quite a price bump from their previous one, but it's it's really not comparable in my opinion. It's again, it's the, the sensors, the viewing angle, it's all basically the same with the turret and the bullet. This is just, you want a Wi-Fi version and this one has actually two-way audio. So if you want that, you want to go with, with this one. You can power it by PoE, you know, you'll need, you'll need an adapter, but it's versatile where you can, you can install it. The difference here, I guess one thing to point out is the IR. So those are rated like 98 feet and this is 20 feet. So something to keep in mind, but otherwise this is super, obviously super simple to deploy. Oh, and one other thing that they have it here is the micro SD. There it is, SD card slot. All right, one, one of the kind of security fact, risk factors is that someone can disable, you know, your Wi-Fi camera. But if you're if you're backing up or recording uh, redundantly to a micro SD card, you're, you know, much more safe. So that kind of loophole is blocked off with that additional micro SD. So that's that's nice to see. I should know also that these, the Cherry, the Bullet, actually, as I was recording this, they just came out with, well, they came out with the information that there will be the black one. Uh, they don't have it out yet, but they're, you know, their staying is going to come out in July. I'm honestly waiting for these. I want more unified cameras in black. It's just uh, a lot more discreet on exteriors, things like that. But yeah, the best release for us is the new G6 cameras. And in fact, I've been updating a lot of the projects we're working on, switching cameras from like G5 Bullets that we had previously spec or G5 Pros to these G6 Bullets and Turrets. And if you actually want to see that installation video, you can click here and I also give you a full review of the G6 bullet. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.